there it is. Good afternoon. Uh, My name is Inspector Bradshaw. I do hope I'm not. Hang on now, officer. What? But the, the doorbell rang. I know. It's just a little problem, but it's fixed now. Come with me and I'll explain everything. And that's when Gary comes on as the inspector. So that's all we've been waiting for. A doorbell. Yeah, well, not anymore. This is just awful! This is... Ugh. Is this going to happen nothing nights? Where this happens nothing nights? What will we do? This can't happen nothing nights! Oh, Misty, calm down. But, Brett, tomorrow night is opening night! It's fixed. Problem solved. We have a doorbell, and I want tomorrow for opening. And even if we don't, we'll just keep going. Right? Relax. It'll be fine. I promise. Brett, can I have a word with you while we're stopped? Oh, how can I say no? You've read my contract, haven't you? Yes, Scott, I've read it. I've told you a thousand times that I've read it. Then you know that my contract specifically states... That you will not be in rehearsal for more than three hours at a time. Yes, I know. It is a quarter to nine already. I refuse to be kept here past ten. I must have my beauty rest. <laughs> and beauty rest you shall have. Not that he'll do her anything. Uh, if everyone's done, I have a few words. Oh, goody! Words of wisdom from our mighty leader! Look, we're off track. We need to get to this rehearsal if we want to open tomorrow night. I think what we really need is just a moment to refocus. I think what we should just do is, you know, take a moment to breathe and visualize a show-stopping performance tomorrow night. Show-stopping? How is that different from what we're doing already? You know what I mean! Do it! Close your eyes. Breathe and visualize. That's right. <laughs> Breathe and visualize. Is there a problem here? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> no, officer. Everything is under control. Things don't appear under control. It's too quiet. First it was raised voices. Now it's too quiet? Seriously, we're already running over and this is getting ridiculous. We don't have time for crazy. Excuse me, miss. What did you just call me? Oh, you heard me. Go back to your beat, deputy dog. Oh, I see. Insulting an officer now, are we? Well, miss, you've just earned yourself a free night's stay in the Sheboygan County Jail. Let's see if a night behind bars won't change your tune. Oh, no, 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 Gary, 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 no, Gary,
What is your role? I'm playing... What position do you hold in this playhouse? You're an actor. He wants you to say that you're just an actor. Right, and I'm the director. So you do the acting, and I'll do the directing. Okay, Richard? But I was just... No, Richard, don't think. Just act. I will do all the thinking, Capiche. All right. Great. Now can we get back to performing the show? I'm so glad you used to the critics in tonight for a preview. Um, we're all set. Are we sure we're ready to go on? Gary's great focus to the doorbell works. Everyone who needs to be on stage is on stage. Let's go before any of that changes. And it won't happen again. Not a chance. Perfect. Then let's resume. Okay? Places, everyone. <coughs> <coughs> down the taco truck right about now. No, Tom, he died just two pages ago. Really? I think I've been laying here for a while now. That's because you have been, hun. Never mind, Tom, you can go back to sleep. Okay. Just stop, wake. Wake me up if there's a snack break, okay? <laughs> Inspector Bradshaw. I do hope I'm not disturbing your afternoon tea, but I happen to be in the area and I heard a scream. Sorry, that was weird. Ooh, an inspector! Do you work for Scotland Yard? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I was just on my way back when I heard the disturbance. Is everything okay here? No. In fact, your time is impeccable, Inspector. It seems we've all been witness to... A murder! <laughs> a murder, you say? <laughs> yes, sir. It happened right here, before our very eyes. So, you saw everything? Not exactly. The electric went out just as I was pouring tea, and, well... When they came back on, he was... Dead! So, you're telling me that you didn't see the killer? No, sir. The lights went out, and it was pitch black. Hmm. Interesting. Even in the middle of the afternoon? Yes, sir. I was worried about that. It's sort of... fishy. Yes, and you're certain that it was murder. Oh, but a firebug in his chest! Gertrude! Well, it's true. Um, yes, uh, allow me to see the murder weapon. Yes, of course. It's, um, it's right there in Mr. Black's chest. Right where we left it. We didn't disturb the scene of the crime at all. Everyone knows you don't disturb the scene of crime. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I see. Very interesting. What do you make of it, Inspector? I can say, without the shadow of a doubt, that this man was, in fact, murdered. Oh, no! But who could have done such a thing? We all love and admire Mr. Black. Surely none of us is responsible. Yes, while that's certainly a possibility, it's impossible to know for sure until we wait all of the facts. As of this moment, you are all suspects. Oh no, oh no, 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 this is awful! What's the matter, miss? Um, nothing, sir. It's just, oh, it's just so awful. Sounds to me like you are guilty of a guilty conscience. Is there something you'd like to tell us, miss? No. But how could we have done it? No one moved. We were all having tea. And we all love Mr. Black. You keep saying that. Could it be that you don't love Mr. Black at all? Could it be that you're the murderer? No. Well, someone is responsible. I'm going to have to recreate the crime scene. I need to know exactly who was in this room and what they were doing exactly when the murder took place. You mean you wanted to replay the scene as if we're on a play or something? Precisely. Very well. We can do that. Can't we? Um, let's see. Um, we were all present, you see, and uh, Margaret was uh, just serving tea. I was, and I just put Mr. Box cup and handed it to her. And what was it I said to him again? Oh, yes. Drink up, Mr. Black. You don't want your tea going cold now, do you? Hmm. Yes, I see. Very interesting. Now, don't go reading into that now. I only served him a cup of tea, just like I did for the others. And what else did you put in Mr. Black's tea? One plump. 
just as he requested. One lump, I see, I see. Please continue. And I said, oh, mommy, the puppy cakes are something to die for tonight. Oh, ha, so it was the puppy cakes. <laughs> what? The poison, it was in the puppy cakes. No, they were just really good. Oh. And who said it in the thing about poison anyway? Are you accusing my wife of murder? Not just yet. And it's clear that Mr. Black was killed with a fire poker and not poisoning. Yes, yes. Uh, as I said, I must collect all the facts. Please continue. Mr. Black began a conversation about billiards. Mr. Polk is a fine billiards player. So naturally, Mr. Black asked him about his game. He said, how was your billiards game then, Mr. Polk? Just stand, Mr. Black. Care for a round after tea. Oh, Frederick, always up for a contest. That's what I said. I think it'd be grand. May we watch? Oh, yes, then do something exquisite. I'll just go to the table, I said. But then, uh, Mr. Black said, No, then, Miss Polk, I had loved to be stabbed by them playing a game with you, but you've always bested me, and I'm certain I'll never defeat you. Why is that, Miss Black? Surely you've improved, improved since we last played. It's been years. And Mr. Black said, No, I'm afraid of him at all. It seems he's still quite master of the brain. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you can do is put a bit more English on it. Out. And when they came back on, Mr. Black was dead. I see. So you were challenging him. Only to a friendly game of pool. Yes, is that pool with a capital P, which rhymes with T? What? Nothing. I, I was just remembering an old song about boys who are up to no good. Surely you're not suggesting. <laughs> no, no, not just yet. I'm just trying to understand what happened here tonight. Now, what was it you said to him? <coughs> I said, all you have to do is put a bit more English on it. Stop! Oh, for the love of, what is it now? We can't keep stopping like this or we'll never open. Did I do something wrong? No, you're doing everything just as you're supposed to. Oh, it was me, wasn't it? I knew there was something not quite right about my last you. It wasn't you. It's just a tech problem. They seem to be hitting all their cues at all the wrong places. What? Erica! But, Brett, we open tomorrow. What this happens tomorrow? Don't worry. Things like this always happen at the final ghost rehearsal, and it always brings itself out somehow. She's right. Something always goes wrong. I seriously don't know why I do this anymore. Well, I think it's just thrilling. What's the problem now? Are you trying to ruin my career? No, I am. Oh, we're doing the best we can up here, Brett. It's not easy, you know. It would be if you'd stick to the script. We are. Everything has been exactly by the book. It's the thunder, doorbells, and blackouts that have been out of place. He's right, Brett. The line's been perfect. Uh, sorry, there seems to have been a brief power search. You mean that was real? Yes. We thought the crew was just replaying the cue from earlier, when Mr. Black dies. No, I, I called for a cue, so the crew didn't make one. That's odd. Then what, what, what's Gary up to? <gasps> Relax. I'm sure he's just confused. Just when everything was finally going right. Oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> but I hope it doesn't happen on opening night, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do something so we can keep going. So, Gary, Gary, you know as well as the rest of us that the show must go on. Gary! Okay, Brett, let me handle this. Gotta be gentle with him. Officer! Officer Ferguson! I just heard that there was a legal gambling hall being run just a street down from here. We really need your assistance to shut them down. Wow, I've been saving that one. You sure thought he'd come in handy whenever he was at his worst. Oh, do something, Brett! This is getting ridiculous! Gary! 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 Oh, no. What if he's really... Susan, that's enough! <laughs> Sorry, I think I started to get confused now. Is this part of this show? Oh, Susan! Really? It looks so familiar. <laughs> you got that right. No, no, we stopped rehearsal a while ago, okay? Just take a break. <laughs> Oh, well, you're just gonna have it. You know? Well, I thought it was great. Let's just do something. Can, can you just convince Gary that he's not Mr. Black? I don't think he's confused. Whoa. Did I miss my cue? 
You don't have any more cues, Tom. You're playing the part of the dead guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what's everybody staying around for? Are we done? Not even close. <laughs> okay. Never mind, Tom. Go back to sleep. <coughs> <laughs> No. Are you just saying no because she thought of it or actually don't think it's a good idea? Yes. <laughs> well, someone should do something. True. Right. Someone should do something. Erica, go call the cops. Please, now. <sighs> it's over! It's all over! No, it's not over. The show will go on. Reason to cancel the show. No! The show is going to go on whether you like it or not. I mean, someone should know his lines, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, Erica can do it. No! She's calling the show and fixing all of our problems. You can't expect her to play the inspector on top of everything else she's doing. Um. Yeah, she can. No, Brett. She can't do both. She can. No! I'm for Erica's stage manager. Uh, she can do both. No, Brett. I just said she can. No. I'd really like to believe, Brett, that your misogynistic, asking me, shall we see you treatment of Erica is really just some grotesquely veiled compliment on her inending reliability and competence. But seriously, she's burnt out. It's too much to ask. <sighs> Let's just think of something else. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, should we at least check to see if he's still alive? I thought we already did that. No. <laughs> Yeah, he's... What? What? Did anyone see her walk out? She's right there, dead. Oh. exactly what happened right before the murders took place. Right! Uh, where was everyone, and where was everybody standing? Wow. What? You really don't know, do you? No, I'm just the director. I don't keep control of the stage notes. Erica, your notes! Not on your life! Hand them over. What if something were to happen to them? Nothing will happen, I promise. That's what you keep saying, Brett, but lots of things keep happening and everything's not fine. These never leave my sight. Uh, you don't have to leave the room. You can supervise. Fine. Let's see. <clears throat> the maid was over there. Gertrude and Miss Polk were there. Uh, Mr. Polk was there. Um, Miss Polly and, uh, well, Mr. Black, same place he's always been. Yep, that solves it. Um, one of you must be responsible. What about you? What about me? Could have been you. You're in here with us. She's right, Brett. This isn't just taking place on the stage. This isn't just a play anymore. Where'd she go? Susan? Did anyone see her walk out? Real people who actually paid for their tickets are coming. 
coming to see our show tomorrow night. Erica's right. Maybe we all should just quit talking and wait for the police to arrive. At least then we could have a moment to think about what happened here. I mean, are none of y'all concerned about what just happened to Gary?
Surely you've heard since the last play that it's been. Yes. No, no, I'm afraid I haven't at all. It seems I still haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing really. All I have to do is put a bit more English on it. Bravo! Really well done. You've never done that scene with so much fire, such zing. I think you're finally starting to get it. as we were playing the scenes leading up to Gary's death. He was sta- Oh no! I see. Do you care to tell me how Inspector Wright came to have a fire poker in his chest? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's not what you think, miss. Uh, I mean, Matt, uh, I mean, Inspector. But you just said you were sitting right next to him. I was. So you were within easy reach of him? Yeah, that looks bad, doesn't it? I'm placing you under arrest, sir, for the murder of an officer. <coughs> but I'm innocent! Red didn't do it, Inspector! He just cut in half! Then can you tell me what happened? Did you see anyone? No. Brent, you were sitting right next to him. I know, I know, but I was just so captivated with the performance. Everything was so flawless, but then the lights went out and I Wait, wait, wait! The lights went out again? Yes, just like before. Okay, I'm on it, all right? No, I'm gonna have to ask that you stay here in order to convict Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Convict him? I'm gonna need to know all the details of what happened. Whatever you say, officer. How can this be happening? First, Gary's murdered, and officers killed, and Brett's being hauled to prison? Ah, how are we ever open? Don't worry. We're not opening after this. Yes, we are. The show must go on. We don't need me here. But Brett, this has gotten out of control. And I'm not staying past ten. It's clear that we won't be finished with the rehearsal tonight, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, no one is going anywhere or doing anything until I get all the facts straight. You have a seat in the front row and don't move. Now you all need to tell me exactly what happened just before Inspector Wright was killed. We can do more than tell you, Inspector Wright. Mm -hmm. We can show you. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> well, we've done this scene three times already. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment. No! <laughs> you seem she means business. Now, let's just do the scene like the inspector asked. All right? Fine! Okay. Everyone's ready. Um, don't forget Mr. Black. Oh, right. Um, but he's... <gasps> Mommy! <laughs> I thought you were dead! Is breakfast ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tom! We're replaying the murder scene! Oh. Again? We've done this several times already. Finally! Someone else who sees how ridiculous this is! Places, people, places! I'll just stand over here. <laughs> Drink up, Mr. Black. You don't want your tea going cold now, do you? Oh, Mommy, the puppy cakes are something to die for tonight. How's your billiard game lately, Mr. Polk? Just standing, Mr. Black. Careful around after tea. Oh, Frederick, always up for a contest. I can be grand. May we watch? Oh, yes, they just sound exquisite. I'll just go to the table. No, no, I'd love to take a stab at it and play a game or two, but you've always bested me, and I'm certain I'll never defeat you. Why is that, Mr. Black? <laughs> Surely we'll this is the last play that's been... Yes. No, no, I'm afraid I haven't at all. It seems I still haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. And that's exactly what happened. Ah, yes! Erica! She's dead! This is really starting to creep me out, guys! How can this be exactly the same way. <coughs> what do you mean? I mean, all the murders are connected. Everyone who's been murdered tonight is an inspector. Well, not Tom. He's a 
doesn't count. He's not really dead. And what about Gary? He's not an inspector. No, but he plays one in the play. Well, played one in the play. And all of them were killed in exactly the same way. Stabbed in the chest with a fire poker. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's definitely odd. I mean, how many fire pokers could there possibly be in this place? <laughs> and there was thunder and the lights not each time. Yeah, and what's with that? Uh, the, the crew's working on it, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the lighting system. No, I mean, why would the lights go out when it thunders? Thunder is just a sound. It's the lightning that does it. Please, Bray, don't treat me like I'm an idiot. Erica may put up with it, but I won't. Of course I realize that lightning can knock the power out, but it's never just a flicker. Doesn't it normally knock the power out for at least a couple hours or more? Not on any murder mystery I've ever seen. This isn't a play anymore, Brett. This is really happening to us. She's right, Brett. There's something weird going on with these lights. Ooh, and what about the music? It's still playing every time someone's pronounced dead. Oh, it's so dreadful. It gives me the shivers. Can we please cut that part, Brett? How can we cut it out? Susan hasn't been at her keyboard for any of the last three murders. Well, and did anyone see where she went or when she left? Mm -hmm. Not me. She hasn't been here since Gary died. You don't think... What? Well, right. not saying anything, but... <coughs> Susan's a bit... You don't think that she's the one who did it? What, Susan? How could she? is clearly responsible. Yeah. So why not you? Who's one in handcuffs? Right, about that. Get me out of these. Right. Uh, just leave them on him, darling. It's best for everyone if we keep him restrained. No, come on, guys. Get me out of these. You know what? I am done with blaming people, okay? I know each and every one of you, and I know that none of y'all are responsible for this. Aw, that's so sweet of him to say. Damn it, Hubie. Then who is? Yeah, how on earth do we end up with four dead bodies with fire pokers in their chests? Three. Three dead bodies. Three dead bodies with an actor who's playing the dead body with fire pokers in their chests. But no one did anything to Tom, so you really just mean three <laughs> dead bodies. Three dead bodies with oh. fire pokers in their chests! Oh, hey, hey, Sus, I don't Stop. know how that happened. Girl, it's... Someone should do something. Um, then who? You know what? Maybe I should just call the cops again. No! Well, someone has to figure this mess out. Yes, and I don't know, just the person. Not Erica. How did you... Fine, I'll think of someone else. <laughs> but she's right. Someone else needs to figure this out for us. I've got it! Not, Not Erica. Erica! I know, I know, someone else. Who? I mean, the perfect person, really. Who? I mean, when you think about it, they do know how to pick apart a murder mystery. Ew. And they always seem to find out who the killer is before anyone else. Who? Ew. A theater critic. We'll invite a theater critic. Wait, no, 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 For sure. How? We never have a full house, Brett! Because the paper report won't be about how terrible your acting is. Uh, It'll be about how there was a murder at the Sheboygan Mystery Playhouse. After reading a paper like that, everyone will want to go. You know, I think he's actually onto something there. And you're right, Brett. 
The inner critics always seem to pick apart a murder mystery before anyone else does. And, and maybe they'll be able to tell us why the inspectors keep dying. Or who killed the inspectors. And since a theater critic isn't an inspector, they would be safe, right? Exactly. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's not just cops who are being killed? What if that's just a coincidence? <laughs> well then, that's just one less theater critic we'll have to worry about. Oh, hi, guys! There she is! I was wondering if she'd ever come back! There's the lady out front, peeking in through the windows and trying to get in. I think she wants a glimpse of the parcel. She says her name is Adele Sears, with the Sheboygan Daily Tribune. Speak of the devil. Uh, Del Sears is the theater columnist, isn't she? Yes. Oh, perfect, Susan. We were just talking about how wonderful it would be to have a theater critic here. Really? You want a theater critic here? Haven't you been watching the rehearsals? <sighs> Erica, <laughs> go and... <laughs> I'll just go do it. No, okay, it's... You're in handcuffs. <laughs> Sit down and try to look more professional. That's my girl. <coughs> this is so cool. I've always wanted to see my name in the paper. Do you think she'll write something about me? She'll write something about you? You can count on that. <laughs> so, I see you want to rehearsal without me. Oh, no. We haven't moved one at all. You didn't miss anything. Really? Then who's this? Oh, he's Matt McClendon. That's Inspector Wright of Sheboygan PD. He came to investigate the murder. Oh, I could have sworn he looked familiar. You're probably just mistaking him for Tom. It's the fire poker. Simple mistake. <laughs> so, where have you been all this time, Susan? Oh, oh me? Oh, well, since we're on break, I took a little walk, went down to the corner store, and did a little window shopping. And you guys better see this. Take a look at this. Gosh. This baby was $4.99. And only $30 for the whole set! Can you believe it? What? Well, anyway, I thought it was a steal. There she is! Oh, this is so cool! Here they are, Miss Sears, the cast of putting a little English on it. My, what an honor this is. Y'all, it's always been a dream as a writer to get a scoop review. And y'all do not know how hard I've tried to get into your one of your performances before opening night. Oh, we know. We definitely know. And the date supporting and Daily Tribune has always been the biggest support of y'all in the playoffs. Is that why you were to part of last show? I'm sorry? That's Brett, our director. It's a pleasure. Um, you'll have to forgive Brett. He seems a little tied up at the moment. I said, is that why you ripped apart our last show? I don't remember. Which one was that? It was our dinner theater show called I Could Just Kill for a Sandwich Right Now. Oh, yes. I remember writing that one was a bit too cheesy for my taste. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. But I am looking forward to this one. I do hope I haven't missed too much. Oh, you'd be surprised at how much you have and haven't missed. Well, it looks like I missed three characters getting the axe already. Those are fireworks, actually. Oh, and actually, we were hoping you could help us out with that. How good are you at spotting the villain? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on how good y'all are, of course. Of course. And it depends on how good the writing is. Oh, uh, Brian D. Taylor wrote it. Uh, he's brilliant. If he's so brilliant, sugar, then how come I haven't heard of him? <laughs> but yes, I can almost always spot a killer early on in murder mystery. Well, that's what we're counting on. Well, y'all can't expect me to find the killer without seeing the rehearsal. Can we take it from the top? Uh, well, how about we just start it to before the murder took place? Can't make any promises. Uh, places, everyone. All right, come on. Oh, 
without pish posh. That's a horrible way to think of it. You're good. You're really, really good. And it's important that I believe in you as your old man, your father, you know. Done with it. I mean, breaking the rack of billiards balls is nothing really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. And that's how it happened, more or less. So can you tell us who the killer is? And do we have to wait to read about it in tomorrow's paper? Oh my! Erica! What now? <laughs> that was unexpected. How can this keep happening? What's the deal with the light? And where on earth did Todd go? He just disappeared. But did anyone see where he went or when he left? No. Not me. You don't think. What's Todd? No, he's asleep half the time. <laughs> Maybe he's offing people in the sleep. The sleepwalking murderer! Now that's cool. Okay, we are done <laughs> assigning. was off a bit that time around, since Tom was not playing Mr. Black. But it was all set. The lights went out. When they came back on, she was... Dead! Who's in? What? Am I in the wrong place? Yes, this isn't even the play anymore. <laughs> really? Did, did we stop? Yes, dear, we've stopped. You can relax. Oh, I thought last there. No one said stop. Yes, we've stopped, so please stop playing those dreadful refrains. Oh, that wasn't me. Of course it was you. You you're, you're sitting right there. No, I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I got lost. Besides, the keyboard is unplugged. Then where'd the music come from? Mm -hmm. This is getting really spooky, you guys. It's just so weird. How could this be happening over and over again? Are we cursed or something? from is some sort of strange time loop. Ooh, like in Groundhog Day? Precisely. I love that movie. I know, Victor. You just think we're in a time loop because we keep doing the same scene over and over again. Well, don't you think it's odd that every time we replay the scene, someone ends up dead with a fire poker? I mean, how many fire pokers do we have in this place? There's only one at the top of the show, right? Right. And that ends up in Mr. Black for the rest of the play. Where are all the others coming from? And it wasn't storming when you went out, was it, Susan? Hmm? What? Oh, storming. No, not that I can tell. But I've been known to be completely clueless of what is happening right in front of me. Oh, Susan, dear, that's why we love you. So honest and self-aware, yet so aware of everything else. <laughs> yes, that's me. Hi, guys! Well, look who came back. <coughs> Where have you been? I am thinking of me. I'll just be up. Uh, right here. Wake me up when y'all leave, okay? Right. Tom! You know? Before you ripped off again, could you tell us? Is it storming outside? Oh, no, it's nice out. Perfect weather for eating pizza by the side of the road. Thank you, Tom. Right. So it isn't storming outside, and the lights should be going out, unless there's a technical problem. There's not. It's been checked and double-checked. And that awful music keeps playing from out of nowhere. Susan clearly isn't playing it. No. I don't think this is murder. This is something far more... Dreadful. Nonsense. I'm sick with the obvious. It's a murder, and someone's playing some sick game with us. But who? Hey guys, how's the rehearsal going? Ah, oh, the playwright, he'll be able to help us. I just thought I'd pop in one last time before opening night. Am I interrupting? Take a look for yourself. Does it look like we've done any rehearsing tonight? Who are these people? You are still rehearsing my play, aren't you? Oh yeah, 
Believe it or not, this is putting a little English on it. It's a hoot, let me tell you. <laughs> then, who are they? Did you make any changes without telling me? Oh, no, these people aren't in the play. I know that. I wrote it. So what are they doing here? Murdered, we think. And judging by the handcuffs, I'm guessing you had something to do with that? Oh, no, this is just a misunderstanding. Someone, please, just tell me what's going on here. Um, Inspector Fuller thought that Brett killed Inspector Wright, who is here to investigate the death of Gary, who plays Inspector Bradshaw. Whenever they ended up dead themselves, Brett thought it'd be a good idea to have Adele Sears take a look, but then she ended up dead too. And all of them with fire hookers. Yes. I can see that. Don't you find that odd? No, not really. I mean, I've written Stranger Things. What? Uh, we were hoping we'd be able to help us solve the mystery. Hmm. And I don't know, maybe. I mean, I'm happy to take a look. We're starting to think we're cursed. Hmm. Interesting idea. Ooh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? Well, since he's the playwright, he could just rewrite the scene so the curse will be reversed, right? Oh dear, you've gotten way too deep into this now. The murders aren't taking place in the play. He can only rewrite it so that Mr. Black doesn't die, but you're fine, aren't you, Tom? What? Are we done? Of course not. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so, will you be able to help us with, uh, with the mystery or not? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. Well, let's take it from the top then, right? Yes. No, 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 wait. Are you sure we should do this again? What if it happens again? It'd be awful if something happened to Brian. <laughs> what do you mean? She means you're next. Me? If the pattern continues, everyone who's come in here after we die and have to, after we replay the scene has died. Well, then maybe in that case we should. Uh, you'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> that does not sound very convincing. Maybe I should just go. No, 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 please stay. Take precautions if you must, but stay. Okay. Um, uh, do we have like a helmet in the costumes or something? Um, maybe I'll just here take a look. Just stay right there. Thank you. Uh, Tom, we're doing the murder scene again. What? Yeah. Again? <laughs> Are we really that bad? <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, yes. There isn't a fire poker on the planet that could penetrate that. <laughs> Say so. All right. We're doing the, 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 we're redoing the murder scene. All right, place it, everyone. Hey, you don't want your tea going cold enough, do you? Oh, Mommy, the puppy case doesn't beat the dive for tonight. How is your billiards game lately? <laughs> Mr. Polk. <laughs> Just step what? Right? Get a full round after tea. Oh, Frederick, always a full contest. I think it'll be grand. May we watch? Oh, yes, that does sound exquisite. I'll just go set the table. No, no, I'd love to take a play at it and stab a game or two, but you've always <laughs> got to be. I'm certain I'll never defeat you. Why is that, Mr. Black? Surely you've improved since the last play. No, no, I haven't at all. Seems I still haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. Oh my god! Did not see that coming. You know, it's getting kind of late this time. Are we going to keep going this time around? No, Tom, the show's over. What? The show's over. The playwright's been murdered. What? A murder? The show is not over. We have to keep going. What? 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 The show isn't over. The play has to keep going. But Brett, this has gotten out of control. It's just... Uh, what? Did we stop again? The show has to go on. It's the way it's going to have to be. Yeah, I don't know what happened here tonight. But I also don't think we should open tomorrow either. The show has to go on. It's the way it has to be. In fact, I think that was Brian wrote in this place.
It's what he tells us to do. Is he okay? No, Susan! Oh, that's too bad. I really liked him. This is awful! This is really serious, you guys! It happened again! Nothing has changed, and now one of our own has been killed! Well, the play has to go on. That's what I keep saying. The play has to go on, no matter what. But we don't have an Inspector Bradshaw! Well, Eric can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, Eric, you already did too much. No, Prince right. The show must go on! Besides, I know all these lines, and Inspector Bradshaw could be a girl, right? But, but, but what about all the murders? Isn't anyone concerned on what just happened here? What if this happens again? No, it won't. No one else is gonna die. I knew it! I knew it was her all along, Misty! She did it! She just admitted to it! No, no, no. That, that's not what I said. Then how can you know that no one else will die? Oh, it's all right here in this book. It says the murder is dead. Huh. I knew it! No, you didn't. What are you talking about? This? Yeah, it's a copy of play. I found it in his pocket. Uh, no. I'm sorry to say, but this play is titled Murder Mystery at the Murder Mystery. That's not the play we're rehearsing. No, but it is the play that we're performing in at this very moment. What? what? Thank you. I thought something was odd, and this explains everything. How so? Well, I thought something was weird when Brian said he'd written Stranger Things. He said it off the cuff. But what he really meant is that he actually written Stranger Things. I don't follow. He meant it literally that he's actually written Stranger Things in this very play that we're all in. What? Putting a little English on it? No, this play, the murder mystery at the murder mystery. Think about it. The music cue being off, the weak red herrings, the endless supply of fire pokers, Misty's one-dimensional personality. Hey! <laughs> Terrible British accents we've all been using during this play. My accent is perfection. Is this, what are you suggesting, Richard? I'm saying that it doesn't add up. This isn't reality, and we of all people should be able to recognize <coughs> that. We're actors, after all. So, the whole time, the murders, the fire pokers, the blackouts. Yes, it's all scripted. We're all characters in this play. No. Yes. It's the only explanation. So wait, you're saying that none of this is real? Yes, I mean, you're right. We're, you're, yes. This is all just a show. See, listen. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Are, we, are you trying to say that we're all actors? Yeah, we're all characters. That's so cool. Well, you're being played by you, of course. But not you, the one all we know, because that's all just an act. Exactly. And since we're all characters, we can never break character. Therefore, we can't know exactly who Wait, we are. Hold up. Shouldn't we, like, take a while and pay respects by, um, by... Moving the bodies, please, Brett! It's starting to creep me out. All right. Thank okay, you. let's everybody just um, Wait, grab or someone. You want to know? Brett, can I get some help here? No. I'm the director. <laughs> Hurry up! Alright. Come on, you can do better than yeah. that. Show us, go on. Where is she? 
Say. No, I don't actually. I just have to do what's written. As do you. So, I'm not handing over the manuscript. Give it to me now, or I'll write a bloody, painful death for all of you. Wait, so he's the real playwright then? And the murderer? Yeah, that's right. I am. Wait. Well, who's he? That's the Brian who wrote putting a little English on it. He didn't kill anyone. Well, except for Mr. Black, that is. I'm the one responsible for all of the other murders. So as you can all see, you're all at my mercy. Wait, 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 wait. So you're not the same person. You and him, and him and him and you and you. No! He's just one of my characters. Just like the rest of you. Then why did he have the manuscript of the play we're in? I don't know how he got his hands on it, but it's mine. Oh, you don't know how he got it? How convenient. So, somewhere out there, you're actually writing this and killing everyone off one by one, only to write yourself into the play to save us by writing your own death. Supposedly killing off the murderer, but then you write yourself back in, threaten to kill us again, and yet you don't know how one of your characters got hold of the manuscript. What? I pay attention to a few things. <laughs> it, it's still not finished! It still needs some revisions. You're a really terrible writer. You know that? It's unedited. Behind every good writer is an even better editor. But you wouldn't know that. Now would you? You're just a terrible actor. <laughs> no one here to make your words sound better. Is there? That's my job. I've had enough of this. Get out of my field! I'm not leaving. Without the manuscript! Don't let him have it! Very well! I'll just take it from you. You and what army? You're outnumbered. Yes. Except you've forgotten one thing. What's that? I've written myself. 
I'm not just some boring playwright. I'm a playwright with superpowers. I can move in super speed. You don't even know what has hit you before I have the manuscript and I'm gone. Everyone, stop him! Excuse me, Mr. Black, could you hold this for just one moment? Thank you. Mink, you are my least favorite to write. Sorry. Oh, hello, <laughs> Mr. Black. How's your experience game lately? Here, that's a trade. You can have one of these poles. Yeah, I should pop the pictures. And I can remember. Deal. Excuse me. Pardon me. Watch your step. the fire pokers. <laughs> oh, 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 and uh, break a leg. Everyone, <laughs> scene, do the scene. What? The scene, the scene, do the scene. Thank <laughs> you. 